going on everyone my name is wheeler welcome to wheeler's minis and we are back with another video going over the things that i use uh, at my desk and at my painting station uh, that might help you who are first getting into painting or maybe some painters who uh, have already been doing it for a while this week we're going to be talking about brushes probably the most important thing that comes to uh painting when it well when it comes to painting um if not paints which we already did a video on which if you uh, would like to see that it can be found let's see I'll put it here um but we're gonna be going over the brushes that i use today some of them that uh i really love and yeah let's just go ahead and get into it First off, if you are first coming into painting as a hobby, um, what I would recommend is just go buying a bunch of brushes from your local hobby store. Uh, having a bunch of brushes, even if they are just synthetic brushes, is not going to be a bad thing because they can used for they can be used for many different things, um, and it never hurts to have multiple different styles of brushes, especially when it comes to painting models as a whole. Now, most places you're going to be able to grab pretty large brushes, which are going to be better for base coating like larger miniatures used as uh, wash brushes or even as dry brushes. But if you are looking for more of a like detailed brush, your friendly local game store is going to be your best bet for finding awesome quality brushes uh, that many people use at their painting stations. Um, Army Painter has a lot of... Uh, brushes that you can grab uh co going from detail brushes all the way to dry brushes or base brushes for larger larger models most of them will be split up at your uh, friendly local game store in like small medium and large and then detail dry brush etc uh, i do know that army painter has a dry brush set that i absolutely love um before i got them i was just dry brushing with some of those uh cheap brushes that i got at um hobby shops like michael's or uh, hobby lobby or places like that um, but once i got the dry brushes i immediately loved them um, they helped out a whole lot and i've learned a lot of techniques on how to use them um, my recommendation if you are looking for how to paint using brushes specifically would be to go check out uh squidmar miniatures or lila mev who i'm a patron of uh, she does amazing work and amazing videos and i cannot recommend her content enough so if you're looking for more detailed aspects of how to use brushes properly definitely go check them out uh, this is just kind of a what brush i use or what brushes i use uh, for my models um, now there are a lot of sets that you can buy that come with brushes Brushes. I have gotten some of those, uh, such as the Army Painter D&D set comes with a brush, uh, the Speed Paint Mega set comes with a brush, um, and stuff like that. Um, another company that does sell brushes as well are uh, Citadel. Um, you can buy similar to the Army Painter brushes, large, medium, small, um, in basing, highlighting, and layering, um, as well as some other technical brushes that might be helpful to you. Um, now, those are just kind of the base brushes that I use. Um, a lot of them have been used for a few years now. They're really good, and once they go bad, you can just reuse them as dry brushes or things of that sort, which I have uh, done many times just by using a, an X-Acto knife to cut off uh, the tips of the brushes that I use. Um, but if you're looking to up your game or if you're getting into miniature painting and you really just want to get things crazy right off the bat, um, I can tell you from experience that I did not think, I was skeptical at first that what brush you used mattered and that quality brushes weren't any different from the brushes that you could get at a hobby store. And I was completely incorrect. Um, one of my very good friends for Christmas last year got me a Winsor Newton Series 7 size zero brush. And whew, it is so, so nice. Sable brushes are extremely, extremely well made, especially the Winsor Newton ones. Um, and they hold their tips very nicely, which makes for really, really easy detail painting on miniatures. 
Uh, so when it comes to sable brushes, which you might hear in other miniature videos, it is uh, mostly Kalinsky sable hairs that are used and put into a brush. They really hold their form very well. They hold paint very well. The only downside is that you do need to wash them and have better, uh, take better care of them, especially if you want to extend their life because they can be on the expensive side. Uh, I went out and bought myself a size triple zero uh, Windsor Newton sable brush the series seven uh, and it was i think about 13 dollars just for the one brush whereas you can get kind of a pack of brushes from like michael's or hobby store for five dollars um, now if you're looking for a uh, cheaper alternative that might not be the best quality but definitely is a little bit cheaper definitely recommend looking at chronicle cards Kalinsky sable brushes as well as their wolf bristle brushes i haven't used the wolf bristles yet uh, but i have been using the sable brushes and they work they're good the tips do tend to bend and that can be a problem when when you're trying to get a good uh, kind of brush on your model. Uh, but if you're looking for a cheap alternative and you do want uh, the sable brushes just for the aspect of having a sable brushes, I would recommend them. Uh, they also have a, a set of dry brushes that they just had a Kickstarter for uh, that just finished up and uh, I'll be getting those in as well. Um, but yeah, those are the brushes that I use. Um, I, if I had to rate them, I would say the uh, Windsor Newton Sable brushes top tier. That's gonna be kind of your industry standard for painting when it comes to brushes and sable. Um, again, the only downside is that you have to clean them. And again, you can check out many different uh, YouTubers that make content on brushes that specifically will give you what you are looking for when it comes to the cleaning process and how to take care of them. Um, so definitely recommend those. The Chronicle Cards Sable brushes, again, are a cheaper alternative, but still sable. They just tend to bend the tip a little bit, which is not really what you want in a sable brush. However, proper care and through probably some tedious work on your own, you could get them to a space where you feel comfortable with them. Uh, next up would be the uh, brushes that you get in the paint sets. Um, especially any branded uh, paintbrush that's a synthetic brush is probably going to be better off than most of the stuff you're going to find in the hobby store. Um, and it's going to be a cheaper alternative that's going to be a bit nicer, um, a little bit more expensive than getting just a pack of brushes at the hobby store, but definitely something that if you were looking to not spend as much money, but still get a good quality product, branded brushes like the Army Painter brushes, the Citadel brushes, etc., are really, really good. Um, and then if you are just starting out and you're like, I don't want to spend too much money on anything. I just want to get you know some base paints some minis and just paint everything all right we're back uh sorry about that I accidentally hit my microphone and shook everything. So, um, as I was saying, getting back into it, um, hobby brushes from your dollar, I don't even know if they have them at a dollar store, but at a hobby store, um, are going to be a great, just kind of beginners getting into it. You will, as you get into your mini painting journey, you will very quickly realize and understand, oh, um, yeah, I should probably get some better brushes if I want um, some higher quality models, but you can still paint really well with lower quality brushes. There's no, um, it's it's the painter. And then at some point, if you're trying to get a certain quality, it definitely is the brush and by proxy the paint. Um, now, other brushes that I have, I will, because this is a brush video, um, we're getting into the technical brushes now. Uh, so when it comes to airbrushing, which is technically still a brush, I use the Badger 105 Patriot, which is a pretty standard entry into uh, airbrushing. Um, I really recommend it. It's a really good beginner's uh, airbrush. And if it's something that you're trying to get into, um, I've been using it for priming um, and getting that Zenithal prime on the models that I print out. Uh, but if you're looking for something a bit more for airbrush painting because you like to paint with an airbrush, 
I unfortunately cannot recommend anything. If you are looking for something like that, though, definitely go check out Squidmar or Lila. Um, both of those uh, creators do amazing work and have really good content on airbrushing. Um, at some point in the future, I might do another airbrushing video when I get better at it or when I start to get to the point where I'm like, I just want to base my models with airbrush stuff. Um, so the only recommendation I can give is that the Badger 105 really works really well um, and is definitely something for a beginner when it comes to airbrushing. Um, that's a great starter airbrush. The only other brushes that I would recommend that you get are glue brushes like silicon pieces at the end of uh, brush sticks. They're gonna be really, really good for basing and moving around glue uh, on your base to make sure that you get an even coat across it. They're also really good for just getting in cracks and crevices. That way you don't have to oversaturate your base with uh, glue uh, and you can move it around. They're also really, really good for if you're using green stuff um, on a model, they, the green stuff tends not to stick to them. All you need to put, do is put a little water on them and it actually will uh, help smooth out that green stuff really, really well and help the model look more cohesive and put together. Um, so yeah, shorter video this time, but I wanted to get it done because I told you guys that I would start doing these and I'm going to start doing them. So I really appreciate you sticking around and being here. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like, uh, commenting, if you have any brushes that you recommend, I could try out. Um, I'm more than open to trying out things that you guys recommend. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, for miniature painting and pretty much everything else around that, including 3D printing, uh, I'm Wheeler and you can come check out Wheeler's Minis. Thanks guys.